G'day mate, Servok here, and welcome to my backyard, Ark Survival Evolved. The moment of truth. We're now going to crack on with our nice little Bronto train all the way around the island. This is going to probably take most of the day, and as I'm sort of going to be recording it all in one big hit, I don't want to give you guys a four hour movie, uh, four hours generous. But what I'm thinking of is I'll break it up into snippets, I'll go around, I'll show everybody's bases as I travel. I managed to put steel point at the back, so all these small dinos and that can sit there nicely. And hopefully they don't fall off, that's what I've got to keep an eye out for. But all the bigger dinos, because they do sort of glitch through my dino pens at the moment, they're pretty much... Yeah, going to be walking along with us. They're all faster than the Bronto, so that's fine. Also, I think at night, when I go to pull... Uh, pretty much at night, or when I go to log off, I'll probably just move them up into the pens, and I'll just put them all on passive. Because they'll sit there once I get all the Brontos in position and that, and I'll have a certain Brontos that are attacking and certain ones that are not. So it should be fine that way. But, one with the trip. So, I don't know why I decided to do this, it's just one of those things that I thought would be cool um, and fun to do. So, hopefully if I sort of zigzag, oh frame rate as we're all stopping on trees. I've got to remember that I've got Brontos on the side of the platform, so I need to remember who is not moving. I think I've broken the chain somehow. Alright, uh, uh, shorty. Why is. <laughs> Good start. What is going on here? Tiny, for some reason, is following Queen's Cliff again. So that's 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 a start. Ugh. What's happened here? I have a bird sitting on so. Ugh. Oh. Move. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. I really need to build more ladders. I can't believe what's happened here. Tiny. I want you to follow me for a bit. That should get the rest of the train going. enough for me to go tiny oh, shorty we're back in business again <laughs> oh, the thing about having so many things follow each other so on this I haven't quite got everything I need to like, sort of live by itself I still got to build an industrial grill and all that sort of stuff so that is a plan um, I, I've stopped over a data, that's what it was. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the drop bears place first, and then once I'm there, I shall bring you guys 
Back. And what, what does that look like? Heck is falling out. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys back once I get the drop bears close, oh. and we'll have a look from there. <laughs> so guys, I've ran into a snag already. It's just these platform saddles and desyncing, and there seems to be just something about it. So I've had to go back uh, to head back. And I believe they're possibly still floating in the air. <laughs> So uh, it's getting it's getting to a point where I'm nearly wanting to just take all the dinos that I had following and leave them at home and just take the Brontos. Because at least the Brontos are well they're not bugging out and all that sort of stuff. So as you can see, they're magic. So I think that's what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to drop all these guys back, I'll probably take the Triceratops and all that sort of stuff, that's fine, but all these smaller ones, I don't know, they're just not going to be able to, well they could follow behind, but I don't want to just leave the dodos there and all that sort of stuff, because the dodos will get a bit left behind since they're there, they are the slowest animal. Alright, so, I'm going to drop you there. And I'll bring you back when I continue on. I'm nearly at the red obelisk it's, it's until I realise that all these dinos are missing. Alright, we're on the road again. On the road again. Yeah. So, I think the idea after this, and I, I just want to prove that you can actually take Brontos all the way around the island. Even though people are probably like, yeah, I've done it before, uh, uh, but I haven't proved it to myself, so... And also I've got enough Bronto platform saddles here to play around with. I may even change the dino holding pen ones, and we'll build something else on top. And pretty much after this, because now Drop Bear has multiple Quetzals, I was going to see if I can get a male and female of him at some stage and start breeding him. Uh, this is not... Uh, pretty much after this trip I'm going to go back to flies. I'm finally going to think about taming a flyer. Um, as you see in this episode, Pekka isn't my flyer. It was left over from Drop Bear the other day, so I'm sort of just having... Uh, oh, him. Oh, okay. uh, come along and pretty much drop her back home. So, still not sure if it's a him or a her, but where are we travelling back there? Looks like everybody's still moving. Yeah, well, it does look impressive. Do you have seven brontosauruses here? So, I guess, yeah, I do, I do like the brontosaurus, it's always been my favourite dinosaur. It's just, I think when the titanosaur comes out, or titanosaur, titansaur, uh, someone correct me in the bloody comments please. That's another thing guys, thanks for all your likes and support so far on this series, it's been much appreciated. So, pretty much I've got one video that's outshining the rest, and I'm sort of excited that it's been, been able to go that far. So, the rest of them are picking up. Uh, I am getting, at the rate I am at the moment, I'm getting a subscriber a day, which is awesome. So, thanks for all the support guys, it's been tremendous, and uh, bloody awesome. So, we're coming up to the Red Obelisk, and as you can see, Drop Bear's been busy. Metal behemoth gates bloody everywhere, and also the metal spikes. 
So we'll have to get across the water and then I'll jump off and I'll show you what he's planning and what he's been up to. Hello, Mr. Raptors. There's probably a girl in there somewhere. Oh, wait. So... Yeah, he's, he's got a big plan for the Red Obelisk. And I'm sort of hoping that the boss arenas don't play around with it, but I don't think the boss arenas are anywhere near the Obelisk. So I think the spider one's supposed to be an underground cave or something. And I don't know about the other two, so I'm guessing the dragon one will have to be on a cliff top of some sort. And that giant gorilla, well, I'd expect it to be in a forest of, like, one way or These guys swim faster than they walk. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, we'll get everybody across the river and I will just duck us through the behemoth gets. And, tear it on. Get, get out of the way. Hey, look, another Bronto. Uh, let's get through, get through, get through. So, nothing's... Ah, uh, something's in my way, I'm sure of it. I just stomped over something. Ah, uh, dialogue spat at me. See, this is... This is what I don't like about the Bronto, is that its base walking space is so slow. Yeah, they're big and lumbersome, but... They've probably never been like a huge sprinter or anything like that. It's just game wise, I don't know. I could have done this with Paris's and it would probably be halfway around the island already. It's just that sort of thing. So, uh, let's take all the red berries again and drop all the rest. Alright. So I think we may have everybody across now. Let's just double check all the shorter dinos are definitely across. Alright, you don't bite me. Yes, you are. I don't understand sometimes. Alright. Oh, oh, Alright, so let's make sure all the smaller dinos are here. There's Sheila. Um, that's about it. There's Hammer and Ellie and. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously? Sheila's the only. S I'm going to have to go look for the others again. Dead dodos. That's normal. <laughs> Alright, let me go look for the others again. This is the longest part about the trip. Is that something's always missing. And makes me... That's why I said at the start I should have only took piranos and just used tools. No, I wanted to take everyone. God. Be back. All right, so I finally got them all back. Uh, it was a task and a half. All right, so I want you here, Becca. This is your home. Let's go. All right, so this is Drop Bear's place. As you can see, he's got spike metal walls, behemoth gates, uh, blocking off all the entrances, and spike walls pretty much all the way around the top. So he's planning to build a very large uh, metal tower. So as you can see, he's already used, I think he said about 180 metal pillars so far. So I think he's going to need, I think he worked out about 600 all up. So... It's going to be a huge project and I will be happy to show people how that goes along. So here we got the two Quetzals, bigger than big chicken and less big chicken. Uh, less big chicken, and he'll put in weight anyway. So 
Pekka is now home. Uh, Freya is actually staying here while I'm going on this trip because, well, this is probably the closest and the best place for her. So that's not mine. You can see he's got a Mosa and Ichthy that is super fast. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Uh, let's drop, 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 drop. This Ichthy he uses to go around underwater. As you can see, like just its base move. Oh, I'm stuck on everything. That's its base movement speed at the moment. And when I sprint, it looks retarded because it's going that quick. <laughs> so let's have a look at that. 295% movement speed on it and 1500 stamina. So it gets away from everything. And pretty much this is what he uses the hunt on the water drops. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. It'd be funny to see a Bronto move that fast. But on with the trip. What we'll do next is So we've got Drop Bear here, Fens is here and Natasha's there, or Shadow Cut is the name he also goes by so what I might do is just skirt around, skirt around here see all this is swamp most of that is swamp uh, that's going badly I can't see the map anymore <laughs> that was quite funny. Alright, so back to what I was doing. So we're going to go up through here now. And then we're going to go up through here, see fans, come down to Shadow Cat, and then I'm going to continue on. That's going to make the trip longer, but what I might do instead is, I've come to drop this place, I might just duck through and I might just keep going around, and then on another date, Fens is still building his base, so Fens hasn't got heaps to go on, uh, pretty much very much like Drop Bear, but Drop Bear is sort of on the way, so I'm going to keep on going around the outside of it, it's going to otherwise take so long, it's taken me nearly half an hour to an hour just busting through trees, busting through rocks, all that sort of stuff, just to get all the dinos to here. Or here, sorry. Uh, there. <laughs> so, it's going to take me forever, so I'm going to have to... I want to get a bust to move on, I want to get this mostly done before I have to leave. Otherwise, I'm going to be leaving this trip halfway around the island, and I'm going to have to get other friends to look after my Brontos just for a little while. Uh, I can come back but it's 10 days later and I'll, I'll forget where I was. <laughs> so I'm going to bust a move, I'm going to keep on going this way and I'm going to just pump along the outside as fast as I can. I may even just I may even just cut the trip short and go to this the three bases because that might actually be better just to prove that I can get there and I'll turn around and come back. And I may do this again one time with Paris's. I think just time is not on our side. So what I might do is I might... Honestly guys, I don't want to do this half-assed. So what I might do is I might just continue on to Natasha's place. And I'll end the day there. And then when I come back after my uh, work trip got to go down and do some electrical stuff I will come back and I'll complete it better I don't want to I just I don't know it just feels like it's going to be half assed if I don't do it I've got two other episodes before this one so I'm going to spread them up I'm sorry guys I, I just feel like I'm going to do you guys an injustice so what I might do is I'll get to Natasha's place 
I'll end it there and then I might even for my next episode just yeah I'll, I don't want to do this half assed it's just this weekend ended up being a lot busier than what I planned it to be and I didn't get as much done as possible so sadly so guys I'm going to bring you back when I'm at Natasha's place I'm going to call it quits there and I know Natasha or Shadowcat will look after my Bronto so I will probably end it there and I'm uh, gonna have to kill this one Rah! oh did I just I'm guessing everybody just heard that I'm gonna have to do some repairs when I come back to. Oh my god. Well, guys, I managed to make it to Natasha's place. But look, Ellie is freaking out because it's sort of on the back on the knock. But, I just wanted to show off what Natasha's done so far. It looks amazing. So, we've got Sid and Charlie. Hello. A... Oh, okay. A Megalodon and a Psycho. We've got oh, a nice little wolf here. We've got... Yeah, let's try that in there for them. Right. So we've got a nice little wolf here. A couple of... Ooh, ooh, frame rate. A couple of nice aquatic animals. And then we've got this pathway up. It's actually quite cool. I like this. Nice big open area. I'm guessing there was a ceiling that couldn't be placed. The yeah, first little lookout. I like this. It looks really cool. All right, and then we go up even further. Yep, uh, two. What? Well, okay. For the first time I've actually sort of had a look around, so it's actually quite cool. A lot of thoughts gone into this. I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. Alright, so you have to go back inside. And it looks like we're going to go up the other side. Yeah, okay, so this is our way up. This looks like it could be... Haha! This is the main building or main stop point I guess look oh, there's even more up alright so we've got oh look at it, it could be in, here we are, a roost because this I like those a lot we've got a looks like the start of a giver farm which is a holding pen for all the dinos. It's actually really, really cool. Oh, my God. Such a well thought out area. And then I'm guessing. Oh, a greenhouse. Oh, another little house. What's this? The blacksmith or something? Oh, generator room. That's cool. Got a small greenhouse. The water that comes up through the floor there. There's a big uh, ladder that brings it all the way up. The turtle stuck. Alright. I like it. I like this a lot. What do you thought, guys think? Tell us, let us know what you think in the comments and I'll definitely pass them on to Shadowcat. Well, you can walk straight out though, okay, you didn't have to duck it. Okay, I like this. It, he's definitely thought about everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and ask out where he has. I'm going to call it quits there, guys. So, 
I know it seemed a little bit higgly piggly, but it did take me about an hour and a half to two hours just to get here. And that's with the diners getting stuck and not following and unfollowing and I was just doing my head in. So I, I, I'm in a little bit of a hurry because only because I've got to go to work uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so and I'm away out of town for 10 days. And pretty much I didn't want to rush this. I sort of wanted to have my t time, have fun and all that sort of stuff. So I showed you Drop Bear's place and I tried you Natasha's place. I have got to show you Fen's base. But I also really want to make a good trip out of this uh, idea that I've got. So what I might do is I might leave like uh, Sarah, Try, Ali, Sheila and Hammer here and just take the Brontos because the Brontos can follow other Brontos but the smaller dinos seem to have issues so because the Brontos themselves can knock over trees and all that sort of stuff it's fine but the smaller shorter Brontos are quicker than a Bronto so if a Bronto is going slightly too slow it gets hawked on trees and all that sort of stuff and the Bronto doesn't walk through those trees for it so there was heaps of times where I had to go back and find Ali, had to go back and find Sarah, had to go back and find Try. Sheila was fine, Hammer was once. So pretty much I'm just going to use tools. I really think I'm just going to do that and I'm going to set up the camp every night. I'm going to rearrange the two dino pens on the back of the other two Brontos along the way. And I might make them into sort of like a Plan X turret platforms and all that sort of stuff since they're already on the side and I might be able to make multiple tiers so just in case I can put them on the outsides of the camp that I'm going to set up and then the Plan X can probably shoot it all. I probably will still tame uh, Fiomia and probably two dung beetles because if I'm going to do the Plan X thing and the fertilizer thing I really need those three. Uh, they're the big, big three. So, or at least one dung beetle because Unless I make compost bins. I'll think about it. I'm away for 10 days and I'll have a big think about it. And I'll plan the rest of this season out. So guys. If you enjoyed yourself. Please hit the like button. And subscribe for more. Share with your mates. And that's it from me. So as always. I'll see you later.